climbing has definitely been a big part of why I care about the outdoors. In a lot of the mountains around the world, you see roots that 50 years ago were considered normal snow gullies, uh, now are melted out and just crumbling rock. And you can definitely see the climate changing. For me personally, I started to uh, feel like I had more of a responsibility to act as I had more of a capability to act. You know, maybe in 2012-ish or so, I was starting to become, you know, a little bit more successful as a professional climber. Basically, I was able to make a little bit more than I needed to eat. And, uh, you know, I was still living very simply in my van, and so I was able to start donating a lot of that money to environmental nonprofits. No matter how simply I lived, I was still having a tremendous impact on the world just by going climbing all the time. So that's a big part of why I started donating money proactively through my foundation to different environmental nonprofits. You know, I basically was doing my best to balance that. When I'm not climbing, I like to go hiking, go mountain biking. I mean, it's sort of all on the spectrum of climbing because I'm still in the mountains, typically going uphill. <laughs> like, for me, going for an adventure means like getting slightly lost and then finding something new. You know, maybe hiking somewhere I haven't been before, or, you know, doing somewhere to climb I haven't done. It has been pretty great to suddenly have a viable option to take an electric vehicle into the mountains. I mean, I already have solar in my home. Just like, oh, harness the power of the sun, use the sun to drive the crag. It's awesome. Nice work. This is the future. It's cleaner and better. Thank <laughs> you.